Our post rehab tip for this month looks at the hamstring stretch. Now, one of the things we commonly see is we'll have clients with hamstring pulls, but these hamstring pulls aren't occurring here at the, in the tendons of the hamstring, they're occurring more here in the muscle belly. So we're going to show you a way that you can stretch the hamstring to really effectively stretch out the muscle belly itself and not just the tendons. So what we're going to use here is just simply a stretching strap and we're going to ask Jan to bring this knee up toward her chest and we're going to ask you, if you would, to place that strap around your foot there for me, please. So she puts the strap around her foot and she's going to grab the strap pull her knee into her chest and hold it there, keeping the knee in the chest, and now she's going to try to extend the knee, but keeping that knee in her chest as best she can. That's where the strap comes in, to pull that knee into the chest. As she tries to extend her knee, while keeping the knee in the chest as best she can, we're going to get a great stretch right here in the hamstring, right in the hamstring bellies. This isn't so much a stretch she's feeling here in the tendon, but it's in the hamstring belly itself, and that's what we really want. This is where hamstring pulls occur. They don't occur here in the tendons, but they occur here in the muscle belly. Again, let me show you how this is done again, please. What we ask you to do is put the uh, strap around her foot, and I'll just simply help her out because we've already shown you that. She grasps the strap pulls the knee into the chest, keeps the knee in the chest by pulling the strap and then she extends the knee. This gets a great stretch on the hamstring, muscle belly itself, and even a little bit up into the gluteal. And that's what we need.